My name is Haruhiro Hota. I'm a senior in college, and I'm currently on a hunt for a job. I've been rejected by 50 companies so far. I feel like giving up, but today is my last interview. <sighs> I should go over everything again. I get stuck with my words because I get nervous whenever an interviewer's in front of me. I breathe in deeply. Just then, I heard a baby crying from the front of the train car. I looked over to see a woman pushing a baby stroller. Honey, please stop crying. Oh, the baby sounds upset. The woman doesn't look good either. I wonder if she's okay. People shouldn't be giving her faces. Wait, those guys! Right? I had to show this to you. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't believe this. I saw some high school boys standing in the baby stroller section of the train car. It didn't seem like they would move anytime soon. I have to get off at the next station, but I'm sure the mother would feel safer standing in the designated area. Hey you guys, can you move over a bit? That space is supposed to be reserved for mothers with small children. Huh? Who the hell are you? Don't order us around, man. These aren't my orders. Can't you see the sign on the window? It's written right there. Dude, what the heck? Crap, I'm not supposed to be riling them up. Why can't they understand? Yo, mister, you better watch it. Yeah, back off, old man. Um, hey, it's okay. I'll be all right. I know, I'll make sure you're all right. Suddenly, one of the boys reached out to grab my collar. My reflexes kicked in and I caught his arm. What the? Like I said earlier, can you move over? Thank you for stepping in. Don't worry about it. I know I don't look it, but I have a black belt in judo. I'm glad I could be of help. <sighs> Thank God that's done. Oh my gosh, I missed my station. Excuse me, may I have your name? Huh? Oh, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Just your name and contact info, please. Okay, here you go. I scribbled my information onto a piece of paper and handed it to the mother. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to the interview on time. They turned me away on the spot. Hello? Uh, hi! My name is Kaho. I was on the train with my baby the other day. Is this Haruhiro-san's number? The phone call was from the mother I helped on the train a few days ago. Kaho-san... Oh! Yes! That's me! I'm Haruhiro! Oh, thank god. Well, uh, I was wondering if you'd like to join me for dinner someday. Please, let me treat you. Oh, you don't have to do that. I want to thank you properly, please? Well, if you insist. I didn't think it was necessary, but she was pretty set on it. We scheduled a date a week later to eat dinner at her place. We had planned to meet outside the train station. To my surprise, the woman who showed up wasn't the cute mom out of the train. She was a beauty with a mature demeanor. Thank you for coming all the way. I hope coming to my place is okay. It would be easier since I have a child. Uh, it's fine. Once we arrived at her building, a receptionist opened the auto lock doors for us. We got to her room and I sat down at the table. Wow, everything here looks delicious. You have no idea how grateful I am for what you did that day. I owe you a big one. I hope the food I made is to your liking. I appreciate this. This is so exciting. Thank you. This is so good. What is this? I've never had anything so exquisite before. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. That means a lot. Oh, I wanted to ask you. You seemed to be in a hurry that day. Did you make it on time? Huh? Oh. I didn't know how to reply. Kaho-san glanced at me with a worried expression. I figured lying wasn't the best idea. So, I decided to tell her the truth. Uh, hey. Is something wrong? Huh? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about something. I feel bad for talking about this. Oh, no, you don't have to apologize. I mean, it's my fault to start with. Okay, I know what to do. Huh? Hey, can you stay for a bit longer? Uh, is everything okay? You still have some time to spare, right? Uh, an hour or so, I guess. I'm glad to hear it. I called my father. He's on his way. He should be here in a bit. Wait, why is your father coming? I waited, confused as to why I had to meet her father. The doorbell rang 20 minutes later. 
and a handsome man walked into the room. Hi, so you're the man. Huh? Wait a minute, I'm sure I've seen this guy before. Hold on, Mr. CEO? Why are you here? Kaho-san's father entered the room. I immediately recognized him as the CEO of the company I went to for an interview the other day. My father is the CEO of the company you were talking about, Haruhiro-kun. You were late to your interview because of me. This is the least I can do to make it up to you. Oh, you didn't have to do this for me. Don't be silly. You guys should talk. I'll be waiting in the other room. After that, my sudden interview started. I sat at the table with the CEO and his secretary. I am grateful for what you did for my daughter. However, my personal feelings do not affect the decisions I make for the company. Uh, sir, don't pressure him too much. Haruhiro-san, you don't have to feel nervous, okay? Uh, thank you. Well, you see, we hire people based on their character rather than their academic background. The interview went well. The CEO and his secretary praised me for going out of my way to help Kaho-san on the day of my interview. They hired me on the spot. I kept meeting Kaho-san after I joined her father's company. I was on my way to a picnic with Kaho-san and her baby one day. I'm so sorry. It's difficult finding places to go with the baby. Don't worry about it. I always enjoy having picnics at the park. Really? Yep. And I love babies. They're adorable. Oh, I see. <laughs> it feels like I have a husband now. Uh, what did you say? Uh-huh. Uh, my bad. I was talking to myself. Oh, I made some sandwiches for lunch today. Here, have some. After that, we went back to her place. Kaho-san let me take care of the baby, and I got to know her mother during my time there. Thanks for helping me out today, Haruhiro-san. I should be thanking you for this delicious meal. <laughs> you know, things have been so great since I met you. How so? Well, I never got along with my father before this. I didn't want to rely on him even after I got divorced. I worked while my mother came over to take care of my child. But now, I can call my father any time thanks to you. It's nice to be on good terms with him. Oh, that's a good thing. Yes, it's an amazing feeling. You know, you have changed my life for the better. So I wanted to say, uh, thank you. Sure. Too close. She's too close. Her face is right there. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Finally, my first day at Kaho-san's father's company arrived. My confidence was gone from failing 50 times. However, uh, hello. I'm Haruhiro Hota. I believe my skills will come in handy in developing software. I'm not an early bird. I have trouble waking up, but I'll do my best. Of course, I have high hopes for you, Haruhiro-kun. The nerves didn't stay long. My bosses rated my abilities highly, and they put me in charge of system construction. Wow, this is a first. Did you do all this? System architecture is so complicated. You're amazing. Hey, do you want to go for some drinks after work? Unfortunately, I have plans after work. Oh, so you have a girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend, but there is somebody I like. <sighs> That's too bad. The office had a better work environment than I expected. It's rare in this country. I found it rewarding to be needed there. One day, the CEO called me to his office. So, how are things going with my daughter these days? Uh, I've been busy with work. I see. How about you take a few days off? You can spend your time off with her. Oh, but come on. You've done so much for us. You deserve it. Don't worry about anything. I'll get the paperwork done. I know I'm lucky. Not many people can take a break from work without asking for it. I invited Kaho-san to go on a trip with me. Oh, there you are. She appeared in a stylish outfit I had never seen before. I'll admit, she took my breath away. Haruhiro-kun, are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. Do you want to get going? Um, are you sure going on this trip together was okay with you? Do you want to leave? No way. Of course not. I was worried that you might not want to be here with me. Hey, why would you say that? I'm glad I'm here with you, Haruhiro-san. I don't get much time off, and I'm excited to see where you grew up. Well, I'm excited to show you. Anyways, why don't you have a sandwich? Here, let me feed you. Huh? It's okay, I can eat it myself. Come on, don't be shy. 
I think that's a bit inappropriate. Things continued to stay flirty until we got to our destination. We walked around the city for a bit. An old woman came up to us and... Oh my! Are you two newlyweds? Huh? No ma'am, we're just friends. He he's right! We're not... Oh, I see. How exciting. You two are just getting started. P please it's not like that. Oh, I'm hoping for the best for you two. <laughs> that was out of the blue. Uh, I know. I felt my face burning up for some reason. Why is my heart fluttering right now? Jeez. Uh, the lady was just messing with us. The day went by fast. We were headed for a hotel when... Huh? Oh. Hey, Haruhiro. Akine! Hmm? Do you know her? She's my ex-girlfriend, from university. We bumped into my ex-girlfriend, Akine. She was the last person I wanted to see. We broke up because she had such a rotten personality. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I work for my parents now. Oh, I see. Well, bye. Hey, is that all? Hold on a second. Who's that woman standing next to you? That's none of your business. Let's go, Kaho-san. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I want to leave now. I don't want to spend another moment around her. Hey, why would you say that? Get out of my face! Oh, I see. So that's your new girlfriend? Kaho-san is not my girlfriend! Akine turned towards Kaho-san. She had a smirk on her face. <laughs> wow. I didn't know you liked older women. I know why you wanted to leave so fast. You were embarrassed of her. <laughs> hey! Gosh, I feel so bad for you. Do you want me to introduce you to a younger, prettier girl? You're stepping over the line, Akine. Huh? You have no right to look down on anybody. Kaho-san is a thousand times more attractive than you'll ever be. Why don't you realize you get dumped because of that selfish personality? Well, uh, how dare you? Yeah, whatever. What's the point of talking to someone so ugly on the inside? Ah! Uh, you jerk! Shall we go? Okay. We were in my room drinking together when I noticed Kaho-san looking blue. Kaho-san, are you feeling okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about how I'm almost 30. <laughs> Is what Akine said bothering you? Um, well, yeah, just a little. I mean, guys always like young girls better, right? That's not necessarily true. You don't have to lie. Haruhiro-kun, I'm sure you would prefer dating a younger girl. I hate how she's hurting right now. Whoa! Uh, are you okay? Kao-san, I like you. I've liked you for a while now. Huh? My feelings for you keep growing every second I spend with you. My heart belongs to you. Will you make me the luckiest man alive by being my girlfriend? Uh, okay. I'd love to. I want you to be my daddy. <sighs> Everything that happened after was like a whirlwind. We met with Kaho-san's father to ask him for his approval. The wedding date was set for the following year, and we moved in together. My life was finally complete. I can't wait for this baby to join the family. Yeah, me neither. I hope we stay this happy forever. <laughs>